Hey, uh, welcome back. <laughs> As we are prepping for our growing season, which again, I keep saying we're about um, six days out from the first day of spring here in southeastern Virginia. Um, so we have a minute before our grasses really kick in and start producing. Uh, this is reseeding season uh, for cool season grasses. Um, those of us growing warm season grasses intentionally need to hold off for a little while longer. But I wanted to share with you um, my current round bale strategy. Now, I want to be perfectly clear. What do I want to be? I want to be perfectly clear that this is an experiment. Um, I will follow up later in the year, or maybe I'll hold off on posting this until after I decided that my great idea works. Okay, I won't do that. Um, to see what happens, right? So we know that protecting the soil is super important, right? So we need to cover our soil. We know that uh, hay contains grass seeds. Cool. We know that um, horse says produce fertilizer, right? So uh, urine and manure um, are great for our fields as long as we are managing them appropriately. So, plus I hate doing hay nets, okay? So these are the things that we pretty much know to be true. Um, what we did here is we got a round bale and we rolled it out all over the pasture, which I honest to God, I'm sorry I did not video because the comedic value of Mark and I handling that was worth uh, <laughs> videoing. But anyway, we rolled it out all over the pasture. You can see, and we came up here, we rolled it down that way, da, 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 over there, over there, over there, over there. We pushed the round bell all over the place, right? And we turned the horses out on it. Um, the horses are going to eat some of it. They are going to poop in a lot of it. They will pee on it. They will traipse it all over the field. They will push it in to the bare spots. They will, you know, waste it in um, common uh, horse terms, right? Which is exactly what I want to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them do this for, you know, this brown bale will take them, I don't know, probably about two days to get through with the nine horses. It's unnetted. Uh, they're probably a little overindulging. <laughs> like, uh, it is low sugar. Um, it has a relative feed value of about 83. Um, and um, yeah, that's, that's the stats on this. And it is a uh, Orchard uh, Timothy mix. So while they are doing their worst over here to destroy this hay, um, what they're going to be doing is, I hope, protecting my fields Hey, June bug. Protecting my fields, fertilizing the pastures, spreading grass seed. Now, in a perfect world, would I be seeding with Orchard and Timothy? No, I would not, but it's what we had. So uh, the Bermuda, Bermuda bales were sold out. So this is fine for our experimental purposes. Um, how do you guys have horses that you can't catch? That's what I, I want to, what's the training to allow that. <laughs> I would love to not catch these horses. Um, anyway, so I'm hopeful that as they kind of push us around into the soil, it's going to protect. We have some bare patches. I don't know if it comes up on the video, but there's some bare patches uh, where this pasture, our pasture struggled last year. I'll be perfectly honest, as passionate as I am about protecting soil and growing great grass and all these other things, right? And biodiversity and all this stuff. It sucked last year. Um, it was very dry. Um, it was reasonably hot. Um, we just, we struggled. So, um, we have a lot of work to do to rehab these pastures, which is cool because a lot of you are going to be working with pastures that are kind of in similar positions and we can go through them together. Um, so anyway, this is adding organic matter to our soil. Um, again, the horses are going to add organic matter to the soil their own ways. Um, and they are going to spread it all around for me. Um, plus we get a two days where I don't have to do hay nets, which is worth it in itself for me. Then I'm going to close off this field, um, and probably the one next to it, <laughs> and we're going to let it rest um, until, my goal is May, um, that will give it, oh man, this is middle of March, um, so six-ish six, six, six -ish weeks, maybe two months, um, to rest and see what happens, and I will report back on how that is looking, um, but I just want to appreciate that we are using 
the labor of these little beasties um, to minimize <laughs> the labor that I have to do, which I'm all for. Um, put your horses to work in a like ethical way. <laughs> um, hopefully I will be checking back in in about eight weeks telling you how brilliantly this plan worked. Um, and if you're interested in following along, you can join our Patreon page, uh, which is where I will post our updates um, and let you know if this was a brilliant or terrible idea.